Welcome back to LEX 18 News at Sunrise. Now today we're broadcasting from uh, one of our favorite spots, Midway. They're getting ready to have their fall festival that's coming up uh, this weekend. I got Alicia and Kenny and Ansel with me today. My first question goes to Ansel. When I say squirrel, what do you think of? Hey, buddy. Hey, you a good-looking dog. Kitty, how are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you doing, Lee? Good, Alicia. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay, so this is uh, this has grown so much over the years, and it, it really is something special. If you've not had a chance to come, you should. Oh, absolutely. This is the 43rd annual yeah. Midway Fall Festival, and it's bigger than ever this year. We've got over 150 booths. Uh, we have uh, items that we've had, never had before. We've got, uh, what, craft bourbon? Yeah, we have a small batch bourbon distillery that's going to be coming and serving their bourbon, bourbon, and it's local, so it's a super cool thing to check out. You want a sense of uh, what kind of thing they got. Isn't that a photo? Or a, that's it. Yeah, from when? That's a few years ago. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. I shot that from up on the roof here. So we have uh, arts and crafts and food and entertainment and lots and lots of people. Okay, so uh, wh what is it that uh, folks will get a sense of if they get a chance to visit uh, this weekend? And when does it start, Alicia? It's going to start Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, they're going to they're gonna have a sense of lots of arts and crafts, and um, they're going to enjoy things that, that we haven't had recently. We're going to have potters. Um, there are also going to be fun kid activities. We're going to have a bouncy house, lots of um, ponies and train rides. Um, and we're also going to have a train from R.J. Corman. And so even if you've been to the Midway Fall Festival, the train that we're going to have this year is one that we've never had before. So even if you've been before, it's going to be something new. And it's always sort of a homecoming for folks, too, that uh, have either had some connection to Midway, they love the festival, or they lived here for a while. Oh, yeah. People always come back for the Fall Festival. And like I said, this is our 43rd, so it gives them a lot of opportunities. Now the uh, question I got is where do I park? Um, we're going to have parking down the street at a local farm. Um, they're also going to be parking along the streets. There are going to be lots of places for people to park, so plenty of room for that. Right. Okay, so just abandon your car is what she's saying. <laughs> Anywhere along the street, it'll be all right. Uh, when we uh, come back, we're going to get uh, really deep and emotional with Ansel because there was an incident with a skunk once. So we'll, we'll learn more about that when we come back in a bit. There. Oh, my. Aren't you supposed to soak them in tomato juice? I think that's what I heard. If yeah, did. that that's the thing. The Ansel was soaked in tomato juice. Okay. That's correct. Yes. All right, Lee. Thank you very much. Coming up on 558 now at